Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video series with me Emil. In this tutorial series we are going to look at ROS2 and the different components of ROS2 and then we will also do some development with ROS2. Uh, this will be a very simple tutorial series, we will just do the basic part so we understand what uh, a little bit about ROS, the different ROS components like topics, services and actions. And then I will create a new tutorial series where we will be using this with a, uh, together with a robot in simulation. So I hope that you will follow along and in this video we're just going to install ROS2 on our computer. So you can just follow along and we'll do that. So before we start I just want to mention that the distribution I'm running of Ubuntu is 22.04 and it's the latest long time support version of Ubuntu. And I highly recommend that you use it also. And for this tutorial and uh, to follow along with this one, you need to have the 2204 version because we're going to install a ROS version, which is only supported on this distribution of Ubuntu. So uh, yeah, use Ubuntu, highly recommended. Uh, do not use Windows or if you have Windows and you want to use VSL2, you can use it, but I think you are going to face some problems uh, I have tried using Windows before, but uh, I, I'm not highly recommend it. Try if you have the possibility use a uh, fully a Ubuntu system uh, on your computer. So let, with that said, let's go. Uh, so what you can, what I want you to do is that you open up your web browser and that you go to ros.org, and this is start page of ros. And when you get here, you go to the Getting Started tab here. And when you get here, under the Installation section, you have two versions of ROS. Uh, <coughs> the left one is uh, ROS1, which is, which is ROS Noetic Ninja Muse. And to the right, we have uh, ROS2, which is Humble Hawk's Bill. Uh, and we want to use the, the second one here because this is ROS2 and uh, that's what we are going to focus on in this tutorial series. So we hit the install button here and when we come here what we want to do is that we want to click the Debian packages here. And then we get here and here we have actually a guide for how to install ROS2 on our system. I have already done this guide. Uh, so and I know it works so just follow along with this guide uh, but make sure that you go in the under the install ROS2 packages section here under in the last step make sure to use the ROS humble desktop command here and install this one do not install this this one so use the one above here uh, because then you will get Arvis and you will, will get some demos and tutorials and, and ROS of course uh, and because we will need those when we are going to use it with a robot later on so I highly recommend that you use this one or you may face problem in future tutorials uh, and one last step or yeah so I highly suggest that you pause the video and you just go on and make these steps down until here but when you get to environment setup, uh, you can uh, come back to the video and I will uh, show you because we need to source this setup.bash file and we can add that to our .bash RC file so, so that we don't need to source the file every time we start a new terminal or if we restart our computer or such. Uh, so yeah, go on, pause the video and come back. Uh, so if you don't want to source the, the humble this setup.bash file every time, what you can do is that you actually open up a new terminal. So I will open up it here. And then you can copy this command, the setup this source command, and we copy that one, and then we open up our terminal again. And in here you type echo and two quotation marks and then you paste the command and you make two right arrows and then you make i think it's called tilde slash dot bash rc and then you hit enter so now every time you open up a new terminal 
uh, this command will be running and so you have already so it will already be sourced for you when you open up a new terminal and that le that makes life easier sometimes uh, and just to verify that you have a that you have a running ROS2 version on your computer you can just type ROS2 and you should get something like this so that you can see different commands you can use for us too and yeah a little message what you also can do just to make sure that you have the c plus plus version and the python version running is that you go go on and do this uh, examples here uh, so that you run the ros2 uh, talker and the listener and when you have done that you are uh, you have installed ros2 on your system and from there we can go on and you can go on to the next tutorial because this is it. This is how simple it is to install ROS2. So hopefully you like this tutorial. If you are facing any problems, comment in the section in the comment section. And I will try to help you as much as possible. And um, yeah, so see you in the next video.